Hello friends of Grow Indoors 365. It's Mike here with another update. Today is Monday, November 28th. I'm going to try to put this video online immediately. Just wanted to give you another update. Um, so what, what I did this weekend was actually a couple days ago. As you guys from previous videos you might know, I had one light in between this tier right here and the cucumbers which are thriving, okay, Cucumbers literally are thriving. Check those out. Aren't they looking great? Look at those guys. They are looking fantastic. But um, what I did was I increased the light. Okay. I, uh, I only had two bulbs on there. I think that wasn't enough. It was taking a little longer than expected. But as you can see now, these hydroponic cucumbers are thriving, literally. I mean, look at the height on those. Look at the stems. It's looking so good. It's looking so good. And um, I'm guessing by the way things are going, maybe I'll do a cucumber update in the next week. Maybe like Sunday or probably next Monday also. Hopefully we have a lot more growth. Um, by the looks of things... I don't know, but they're definitely, they've increased in size as soon as I put the additional light on. So light definitely matters in these situations. I mean, overall, the root growth, the root, the root development is looking good. I mean, this thing is going to be just like this. It's going to be um, kind of just all over the place, just straight all throughout here. You guys will see the netting that I set up all throughout the bottom area. I'm excited. I'm going to be ma manually pollinating these. Yeah, you heard that correctly. I'm literally going to be ripping off males and uh, pollinating the female by hand. So I'm pretty excited to see what really, what's going to happen. Um, up here, I mean, the lettuce is just growing and growing and growing. Look at these, look at these heads. I mean, I don't know if you, oh my God, look at this thing. That's one head. And I mean, look at these. Look at the leaves on this thing. Look at, hold on a second, let me see if I can lift this up. Oh my god. Yeah, look at that. That is so awesome. When you really grab a hold and you have one enormous head of lettuce, then you can really see how, how huge it is um, and show the viewers also these things. These things are so delicious, by the way. Look at those beautiful colors. Look at those colors. And this, you know, I find this pirate lettuce, it's a butter lettuce. Let's look at the quality of it. Look how, look how green it is. Look how, it's like almost see-through. So clean, so pretty. Uh, mm. Super good. Less bitter, more bitter. All right. So for the people that come by and I show them the grow, I let them try lettuce. They, um, they all indicate to me that the romaine is definitely a lot more bitter than the butter lettuce. So I'm going to be doing so many grow experiments. I'm going to be doing tomatoes. I'm going to be setting up a whole new grow setup. And I'll show you guys how I set that tent up from A to Z. There's a lot more to come, guys. I mean, people literally charge hundreds and hundreds of dollars to show you how to do this stuff. I'm showing it to you for free. Just make sure you subscribe. Make sure you give my videos a thumbs up and spread it to your family and friends that are interested in growing indoors. A lot of questions about the tubs. I might actually start manufacturing and creating my own tubs. Okay. Um, for anybody that's interested, if you are interested in getting a one-on-one -on -one consult, like a free consult, but you have to maybe purchase a tub and some other hardware, maybe some lighting, I can arrange that all for you. We could also discuss where in your house it should be, you know, other parameters regarding electricity, lighting, capacities, all that stuff we can discuss. Uh, make sure you leave a comment down below and uh, maybe leave your, or actually, why don't you message me? There's an area underneath the video that you can direct message me and um, I will answer your replies. I don't have an email account set up for this YouTube channel. 
Uh, I do have a website set up, but it's not like fully functional yet. So I'm not going to give you the name for you to go to it and just get a an error, an internal error that nothing's there. But um, a lot is coming, so um, be excited about that. Okay, uh, be excited about that stuff. And uh, I also wanted to show you a little bit of focus of what's going on here. Okay, this is uh, this is my broccoli. So what I did was I actually ate from majority of these. I already cut these heads off. I brought some to people's houses for Thanksgiving. I actually had three dinners, you know. It's like wife, my family, my wife's family, uh, neighbor, and so forth. So I actually brought a couple of heads over. We enjoyed those in a huge salad. Everybody said they were delicious. And uh, check these out. This is my broccoli. I got one. This plant is, this, this, this one's doing really good. I mean, this, its entire stem is really nice and thick. The leaves are beautiful. I've never grown hydroponic broccoli before. I'm actually really, really excited to see what happens. <laughs> I'm just interested in seeing this enormous head just kind of start popping up in a broccoli size. I just want to see how it all happens. So I got one. I got another one back there. And I got two more over here. One of them is like super pretty little. But uh, this one is very promising right here. And uh, the other two in the back here look great. But the one at the top right, um, we'll see what happens. I'll probably just munch on this and get rid of this tonight. Just maybe dip it into some uh, dressing or something. And uh, go from there. Maybe feed a little bit to my cat. My one cat's like a vegetarian. Loves lettuce. But unfortunately, then you'll just find some throw up later on on the carpet. But um, this is the current update, guys. Everything is looking so big. The reservoir tubs are looking great. And it's probably beneficial for you guys to request how to create this and allow me to help you set something up like this in your home and create these reservoirs for you because, you know, what you'll pay in getting everything together, it's going to be more expensive than just buying it already done for you. All right? Hey, this is Mike again from Grow Indoors 365. I want to thank you guys for watching. You guys are very, very dedicated viewers. The subscriber base is continuously going up, so I'm very thankful for that. Hopefully in the next year or two, we'll have over, you know, well over 10, 15, 20,000 subscribers. I see that happening because I'm going to be literally growing germinating a plethora of different indoor vegetables. I'm going to be doing everything that even does require pollination. Everything from uh, different types of peppers, tomatoes. Obviously you see right there we have some cucumbers happening. We have broccoli. Not a lot of people or no one at all has shown you the A to Z guide on how to grow, grow indoors just like this. The complete setup and what's required of you to make this happen. So again, I want to thank you guys for watching. Also, um, if you do have any further questions, I will do my best on trying to answer them. I know there's a lot of you guys that comment on the videos asking me different questions. I don't always have the opportunities throughout the day to uh, actually, let me take a look in the uh, opportunities throughout the day to answer them, but I will certainly do my best. Wait a second, let me take a look at that one more time. I just filled this thing up with water yesterday. When you get to, uh, when you get to roots that look like that, those are actually really, really nice roots. I mean, I'm talking, those are, that's what you want your roots to look like, really golden white. That's beautiful. Um, unfortunately, a little, a little green algae will start to surface on the sides, but overall, the water is really nice and clear. They took the nutrients in very well. Um, but again, back to those comments, go ahead and comment. I'll do my best on replying to you guys. Really nice roots. As soon as the plants actually, also, just a uh, FYI, if you guys have a setup like this, as you can see back there, when you lift the top, unfortunately, uh, some sides will catch on and you'll just squish some, uh, some lettuce. But other than that, it's all good. I just want to keep eating this thing. It's amazing. Um, but yeah, make sure you guys leave your comments down below. The roots on these things look good. If you guys need help on setups, consults, 
uh, equipment, shoot me a line, shoot me a message with your email. Um, somehow, you know, get in touch with me, and I'll certainly follow up with you, and we could and we could set something up uh, on the next video. I will on the next video in the next week. I will promise that I will have a website for you to go to. I will have a cost of, for example, a tub, some lights, just a few items that will get you started. And also, guys, upcoming, I have a video upcoming that I will show you how to sprout seeds in your own home. You know, you go to, you, you go to the local Whole Foods or wherever, there's like, you know, organic mung beans or uh, different selections of alfalfa sprouts or uh, especially uh, young broccoli sprouts are some of the most incredible antioxidant, anti-inflammatory, um, I guess you call it a vegetable. I mean, it's like these little sprouts that are super, super healthy for you. And uh, I did some research on the broccoli sprouts and I literally, as soon as they grow to a certain degree, I just grab them by the spoon and chow down on it because they are super healthy for you and they, they, they're just full of nutrients and um, you know in today's the reason why we do this is to eliminate some of those carcinogens that are you know provided with certain fertilizers that are sprayed all over our vegetables I mean look if if, if work taxes and pollution of the air doesn't kill us it's gonna be the food okay God knows what they spray out there how long it takes to travel from you know, certain parts of Mexico or Florida or California, wherever it's a sunny state where they can mass grow these things, fertilize them so, you know, pests don't get on them. And then they ship them over 3,000 miles, 1,500 miles with rats in the truck. The, the lettuce is being stepped on. Who knows? But this is what you guys want to do. You want to grow indoors and enjoy a really nice clean veg. Uh, for dinner every night for you and your family. Again, thank you all for watching, and I'll check you on the next one.